Last one, ladies and gentlemen. If we're going to look at this, again, we're looking at our U. And we, you know, trigonometric functions can be a little tricky, but a lot of times they kind of help us out because we say, oh, well, it's cosine of that 5x. That's going to be my u. So we could say u is equal to 5x. du dx, though, is equal to 5. Well, we obviously have an issue, right? Because there is no 5 over there. Do you guys agree? Yes? There's no 5. We're not multiplying by 5. But it's a numeric value. We can, we can, we can create that. That's not a big issue. So if du equals um, 5 dx, well, then I can just rewrite that and say 1 fifth du is equal to dx. right? Just divide by 5 on both sides. So I can replace my dx with 1 fifth du. This is really cosine of u. So really what I'm doing is saying um, the cosine of u times 1 fifth du. And then I can throw that 1 fifth out and just say cosine of u du. And when now I can take the integral of cosine of u, which is going to be my negative sine, negative sine of um, u plus c. And then I can just put back in my 5x.